Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottonen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 122. I am joined today by my daughter, Ella. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thank you for yeah, having me. Okay, we're talking about fear today because, well, as you know, I work with a lot of women. Mm -hmm. And I have noticed over the years that one of the biggest things holding them back is fear. fear. And fear is like very hard to define. You know, there, I, I'll say, I would say something like, well, fear of what? Yeah, fear, fear of fear. failure because okay I mean it's okay you, you fail but then you get back up right you learn something so they're not they're not often able to even define what the fear is because no. it's so elusive yeah yeah so we work a lot with this stuff together because if I see it in grown women I want to help you yeah, so, so that right so that that's not not doesn't happen to you later on in life so where do you think we've talked about this where does fear originate from well we were talking earlier from our ancestors as in a, like a life or death situation. It is supposed to protect you. So like if a bear is chasing you, you're supposed to be fearful <laughs> so that you run away. So it's, that your, you live. it's your reaction so that you live. It's your like autopilot. We're going to run away because we want to live. Yes. Fight or flight. It's our survival. Yeah. It's survival. So fear had its place for our ancestors, which is you must live to prolong the species. But I don't know. Do you think that fear has any place in modern day first world countries? Um, not in the ways that it's being like manifested. Oh, like that's very true. We were also talking fear, mostly in women, is fear of judgment. Ooh, and is there any so, greater fear than being judged? Eek, no, it's a pretty big fear. It's a pretty big fear. Would you say that it's even more so for people in your age group? I think. Sometimes yes, because the pressures of like social media telling you who you're gonna be and like who you should be, who you should look like. But I think it's also difficult for women. Yeah, that, yeah. Like have kids. Like how do I? How am I raising my how kids? How am I raising my kids that correct by the world standards? Right. So we fear judgment. We fear what other people are thinking all the time. So much so that it prevents us from doing things. From doing things. Right. Because you won't do something because you think, oh, what, what if somebody judges, judges me? or just. Me. So as a result of learning these things, we study it a lot. I read a lot of books on it. Ella reads a few of them. And oh gosh, are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Ah, uh, you yeah. got up early. <laughs> so we read a lot about this. And I read from Tim Ferriss in the four hour work week, one kind of funny way to overcome fear, particularly fear of being judged, he suggests that you lie down in a public place where there's a lot of people for 10 seconds and your head counts to 10, suck like nothing, and then get up and walk away. Like, you just felt like laying there. Yep. And what happens is you are petrified because of these invisible social constraints. So you think people? It's not acceptable. To it's, not acceptable. it's not acceptable. It's not right. store. <laughs> it's not socially acceptable to do that. So why would you do it? So <laughs> Ellen and I were talking about this yesterday, and this is we did not plan this. No. It just kind of came up. We were talking about it. We went into Walmart, and I said you should lay down on the floor. Well, she's almost fifteen. There's no way she's gonna lay down on the floor in Walmart. But then I, I like. There's people. I there's, mean, people. there's people. And they're looking at me. And when you're trying to be like older than you actually are as a teenager. And cool. You don't want to lay down on the floor. It's kind of weird. So obviously she would have this tremendous fear of doing it. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want her life to be confined. And I don't want her to experience struggle because of imaginary social fears. You need a nap. I know. Sorry. And it's early in the morning. So I said to her, I upped the ante and I said, I'll pay you $50, $50 to lay down in the floor in Walmart for 10 seconds and be seen. Hi, Taryn. Good morning. So what did you first think when I suggested that? Well, okay. So I like money because <laughs> I'm a teenager. I like to buy stuff. You I need like, money. I like to buy clothes and I like to have money to buy those clothes with. For sure. So I was like, okay, can I get over this by getting 50 bucks? And it was really... <laughs> Tara says she'd lay on the floor anywhere for $50. <laughs> Until you're in a crowded Walmart. And then, and then you're, you're like, ready to get down on the floor oh, and you're like... I don't know about this. Mm. 
So you hesitated. We did our shopping. Did. You were super nervous. We were I could walking tell. Walking around, we were like looking at Spots. places that I could do it. And then finally, in the produce aisle, I laid down on the floor. She laid down on the floor in the produce aisle. <laughs> Taryn says she'd do it, but she's a nut. <laughs> so like she Evan. said, "What? Do, yeah, like Evan would do it." She said, "What do I say if somebody, you know, says are you okay or thinks you're hurt?" I said, "Just." say yeah I'm okay or I just felt like laying down or you know something kind of random so I decided to video this and I took video I tried to be kind of incognito about it I had it like under my purse so I didn't want to draw attention to us so I stepped back you know and was quiet and she laid there and um, what was going through your mind as this was happening I was just like this is this is like my flight <laughs> fight or flight but you were in I, fight or flight I yeah. was just like <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I just want clothes, so I'm gonna lay down. Why am I doing this? Why am I laying on the floor? Yeah. And the first time you did it, I'll post the link to the video below. It's on my personal YouTube channel. I kind of um, just went blank. Yeah, you just went into a zone, into a, I'm just gonna lay on the floor. I just want $50. Into yeah, a zone. yeah. <laughs> Somebody's laughing. <laughs> so she did it, and um, this nice older woman came around the corner. She you gave me a heads up nod. You're like, oh, yeah, somebody's, coming. somebody's coming. And I'm like, oh, no. And she kind of does a double take. And she looks at me, and I start cracking up. Cause she's like, she's like, are you okay? I say, yeah, I'm fine. And she just walks away. Just walks away. Like, yeah, people lay on the floor. So, actually, um, and, and as you'll see in the video, she got up, and we were just cracking up. It was so funny. And you said something like, I mean, you were still nervous and your heart rate was up, but you said it, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't like that bad, but it was like the same time. Yeah. It's you were really fearful bad. and afraid, but you didn't die. I didn't die. I said, you still have breath in your lungs and the earth beneath your feet. So you are a-okay. <laughs> and then I said, that was kind of too easy. Do it again. If you want your $50, do it again. Well, you said that I had earned it. You did. Absolutely. But you wanted so she did about two more times <laughs> and we went to the lawn and garden center and did it and there were a couple people that passed there's a one ever... woman she's like what what <laughs> what surprised you about this um people don't really pay attention people don't, don't care they don't care um i was people passed me and they did not even like glance down like it was nothing and I finally said this is on the video I said to a woman you don't find it odd that she's laying on the floor and she said no, no. <laughs> she's like no and we're, we're like people do that Walmart all the time she's like, yeah. no I guess not oh we were dying it was so fun <clears throat> but yeah thanks Dave's his way to push through yeah. good job I was incredibly proud of you. Thank you. You literally made my year with that stunt. I was so happy after yeah, we did you that. You were having a bad day. I too. was having a rough moment and you turned it all around. I'm so grateful. <clears throat> but the the funny thing is we didn't we didn't plan that and we didn't do it just to have fun or be silly. No. It, well it was fun. But no, it was... we we didn't do it because like Walmart's gross. Like I would not just lay on the floor in Walmart for fun. There no. had to be some incentive first of all. And then there had to be, like, I needed to just do it. Push through. My fear. Taryn says maybe it would have been different in Target. <laughs> she loves Target. I don't know. Yeah, you do you see, see everything, everything in Walmart. Walmart. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Or Tim Ferriss does it in middle. Starbucks. Starbucks. Or like, really busy areas. Middle yeah. Starbucks. So we came home and we, uh, we always have family dinners. And we told everybody at the dinner table, but I thought what was most interesting is the conversation that ensued afterwards and what we talked about. And I think the biggest lesson we learned was something you just said, which is nobody cares. Nobody cares. They might think, oh, why she, like, but they're not going to permanently mark you. Like, right. You it's temporary. Right. Floor right. Walmart. Yeah. You are marked Starbucks. forever. Yeah. Starbucks for a hundred. <laughs> Taryn, will you pay her? Taryn, you want to pay me? <laughs> because if so, she's doing it. I'll take yeah. her today. Yeah, no, yeah, nobody cares. And everything, everything is temporary. Yeah. Meaning, if you're letting fear hold you back from accomplishing your dreams, whatever the difficulty is that you need to push through, it's temporary. And it's usually much less significant than you think. Than I think, yeah. 
I mean, we laughed about it. It was like no big know. deal. Starbucks would be hard. Starbucks would be a hard. A bunch of women and teenagers, and like if they're my age, like that. That would be hard because you would be embarrassed. But what? Yeah. It, where does embarrassment come from? Fear. Fear. Of being judged. Fear of being judged. Worrying what other people are gonna think, and you just did it. And you made it happen, and I am so so proud of her. I think it was fantastic. You were like laughing the entire time. I was. She's just... like, that wasn't that bad, and I said, well, you weren't on the floor. So... I thought it was hysterical. Laura says she needs to try it with her 13 year old daughter. You have to get money involved. I think that's the key. But or also, some sort of like clothes, or I'll something. take you out, or. But you know, the key is. I explained to you why we were doing it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just go lay on the floor in Walmart. Yeah, I told I you the whole matter. story. You've read some of these books on fear. So she was primed. She understood that there was actually a point that we weren't just doing it to film it or to be silly. It was completely off the cuff, unplanned, and it was a riot. <laughs> it was the most fun I've had all week, for sure. Well, <laughs> you, you, not so much for I you. Know all that. <laughs> Although I am going shopping with my friend today. Yeah, so. with 50 extra dollars. Yeah. 50 extra dollars. And, I you know, that. nothing, I always tell people, nothing very good or very bad lasts for very long. Yeah. And in terms of oh. eternity, does this really matter? No. Who cares? Right? Who cares? Who cares? Care. Like, chill out, just push through and do things. Thank you so much for providing this information, for yeah. being a part of this, for sharing with my friends how you push through it. Because I think if a 15 year old can do it, yeah, and peer Which, pressure is a real thing. We were talking, yeah. That's like I would, I would feel judged the most. Right. It's like I'm the most susceptible to something like that. Absolutely, you are the most susceptible to peer pressure and judgment and worrying about it. Yeah. And if you could do it, then why could a grown woman not say start a photography business? I mean, it sounds silly almost. Yeah. Like, like, come on, I laid on the floor in Walmart. <laughs> You can put yourself it out there. It was gross. I took a shower, so don't worry. She did. She got in the car and she said, I need to take a shower. <laughs> Laying on the floor at Walmart. Laura says her daughter likes money. Oh, yeah. So. Everybody likes money. And when, like I said, when we told the family, Evan's like, I'll do it. And we're like, um, of course you do it. You sat in Ulta for 30 minutes the other day because you didn't want to He didn't want to walk around Ulta, so he so sat. So he will do it. But like... It's not as much of a push for him. No. So you know what I was thinking, and he mentioned this. What if we took him into a crowded Starbucks and asked him to sing and dance? <laughs> you think that would go over? I would get secondhand embarrassment. I know. Well, I couldn't be in there. I'd be, like, I'd be so embarrassed for him, and he wouldn't even be embarrassed. No, he wouldn't care. But I, I could pay him to do that. I, I pay her to read books. I pay her to lay on the floor in Walmart. I get it. It's my parenting style. I get secondhand embarrassment from people that don't get embarrassed. Isn't that true? Like, yeah, Grandpa will do something. And then I'll yeah. be like, oh. Yeah. And he'll be like, what? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, we hope that this encourages you to push yeah. through fear because it is, it is a made-up construct from society and it has no bearing in reality because you need to ask yourself if you fear something, am I about to be mauled by a bear? And or if the answer is no. Am I about to die from starvation? No. no. Do I have the earth under my feet and breath in my lungs? Then you can do anything. Erin says, I like the term, uh, secondhand second embarrassment. embarrassment. <laughs> it's because she fears uh, somebody else judging. Oh, Mary Beth says, 11-year-old son would totally do that in any store. See, and would want like, me to video it. I feel like, and this is not for all boys, but they have less of a problem sometimes doing stuff like that. You are absolutely correct. This is a gender issue. Although, like, teenage boys trying to be cool. Cool. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I feel like, like, younger, like, Evan, 10. Younger like, and older. Yeah. Younger boys and older men they just, care nothing. No. They we don't. could look, so why do women? Yeah. It's bizarre. It's because it's made up in our heads. It's what's socially acceptable. Okay, it's not socially acceptable to lay on the ground. And everybody can do it. Everybody has the capacity to do it, but we just don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just very interesting. Um, Karen says she loves this and the analogy. Ella, you rock. Erin says, I work with teenagers. Boys don't judge as much. <laughs> Mary Beth you're says 13, 13 see, would never do it. See, it's when they hit that age. They want to be cool. You're trying to be cool, and you're trying to be like... Trying to get the ladies. <laughs> trying to get the ladies. Which you're not going to do if you lay on not, the floor. No, because it's not cool. 
This has been so fantastic. I love this lesson. Thank you again so much. I really appreciate it. We could learn a lot from Ella and her bravery and her courage. Next to you. Ooh. Me laying on the floor. Yeah. Will you pay me fifty dollars? No. Will somebody pay me? Somebody pay mom. Make her I, do it. And you know what? As confident and as bold and fearless as I am, you'd want to poop your pants. It still does put fear in me. Or it does. Grow up. Yeah, it yeah, does. I didn't know which one I was gonna do. And you did neither. Oh. Thank goodness. Oh, poor guy. I would have had to have left you there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not putting you in my car. Oh. That's oh. disgusting. Uh, I. I mean, I would. I have to do it because now. Yeah. Now you're talking all. You're all like, mm -hmm. my 15 year old can do it. Anybody can do it. Now you have to do it. I'm 42 and a half. I could go lay down. And in one of the articles that oh. Tim talks about, he says if somebody asks you why you're doing it, this one guy was like, well, I think I'm getting gray hairs, so I just was wanting to lie down to see if it would stop. Like he just made something up completely ridiculous and random, you know? Or I just felt like laying down. My legs I were was tired. tired. Actually, Evan has done that. He has. He, he will splay out in like the Target um, he will. section. He'll just like lay on the ground. Help me. And we'll be like, um, sorry. And he'll say, he's not my brother. He'll say, my legs are tired. I can't walk anymore. Oh, but you can find the energy to walk around Kennywood an entire day. Uh, yeah. But not in or, Target. Or we're going to walk to the Penguins Parade. Mm -hmm. He was that, everywhere. That was at least six miles. And then also. The heat and the heat. And the heat. And he yeah. managed to yeah. make it through that. But he can't make it through Target. But he can't make it through Target. <laughs> what a riot. Mm. Ah. Hey, you guys, have a great weekend. Continue to flourish, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.